So before we jump into today's video, I had Levi work on his baking skill off camera and he actually leveled up and some of the new recipes that he learned is cheesy bread, sourdough bread, sweet potato pie, and an everything bagel. He also learned some new recipes on the cupcake machine, which I then downloaded a really cute piece of custom content, which is a smaller cupcake machine, which the cupcake machine that came with the game is um, humongous. <laughs> I also renovated the get to work hospital, which Levi will be working at. So if you want to check that video out, you can go ahead and click your screen now. And I will also link it down below in the description. And of course, you can find it on my channel in the video bar thing. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Life Simmer, and welcome to part 21 of Let's Play The Sims Fall Get to Work. So for some reason, the audio isn't playing today. So do expect some ambiance background music. Actually, you know what? Cue it right now. So in this part, I want to age up both of the boys to teenagers. And in the next part, we're going to age up Neptune into a girl. I asked a lot of you guys what you would like to see me do with Neptune. And a good majority of you guys said, keep her cute. Well, it's a he. It, it, it is a he unfortunately. But a lot of you guys were like, keep Neptune, keep Neptune. Levi is currently cooking um, a cake, which they will share. Ain't nobody got time for that. Also, I got this really convenient little tiny custom content cupcake thingy. It's a lot smaller, but it still doesn't fit in our puny kitchen. So <laughs> anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and add birthday candles to this. And I'm going to have Galaxy come over here first and blow out the candles. It is time for these baby aliens to age up. Yay! Happy birthday! Oh my goodness! Now what are you gonna look like? Okay, not bad, not bad. Teenage dumb! Okay, so his aspiration galaxy, he was always kind of, um... I would say he would be kind of a joker. I, I, I've never really gone, gone down the comedian route too much, so I'd like to do that. So he's going to be that gregarious and also a bro. He'll be a bro. And he looks like um, Adam Lambert. Okay, cool. Great. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some more birthday candles and... Cosmo is going to come over here and blow them out as well. Here we go. Round two. And here we are again. Okay, very handsome. Very handsome. And he has always been a little bit more on the nerdy side. So I think I'm going to have him be a computer whiz. And he will be... He is a quick learner, which is awesome. And he'll also be a perfectionist. He likes his things perfect. All right. So with aging up always means makeovers. And I'm going to do them on camera today. Uh, let's see. Alter disguise. Uh, yeah, that's that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Because they pretty much always have their disguises on. But I feel with them being teenagers now, I will definitely take them off more often. Uh, also... Uh, I know today is Tina Saturday, and you guys are probably like, well, Christina, where's the webcam? It's currently 3 a.m., <laughs> and I have guests over at my house, and I think the last thing they want to see is me going to the bathroom and, like, getting glammed up and then coming in here. So I will do it Sunday for you guys. It's still, you know, Tina, Tina Sundays, right? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's see. He's my little perfectionist. He's, it looks like he's older than his father with all of this on, especially the mustache. But, um, yeah, we're not going to do that. How about some elf ears? Elf ears are always nice. But I think I'm going to do some cute little glasses with him. Aw, I love glasses. I really love the round glasses that your children's sims can wear. Those are definitely my favorite. And, um... Yeah, we're going to do that. And now when it comes to his clothing, I think a nice button up like this. And for bottoms, some roll-ups from Capri's such as this. 
And for his shoes, we will do some loafers. I always do these. I need to stop. I always put shoes like this on my Sims because they're just so cute. I can't stop. These are like Toms, actually. Nice. Love it. <gasps> like little Sperrys. No, okay. We're going to keep the Toms on him. <laughs> I'm so, I'm such a mess. I'm like, <gasps> and um, yeah, yeah, he looks good. Simplistic, you know? You don't gotta do too much. I'll save the accessories for your brother. Alright, so there is Cosmo. Super simple. I will go off, go back in off camera and kind of switch up their formal attire, swimwear, pajamas, and all of that. But um, I wanna get Galaxy in there. And I, I'm gonna keep their bedrooms the same as well because, I mean, it's kind of kiddish, but you know, they're okay. You just click on them and click alter disguise. It'd be a little bit easier, <laughs> but he has like made gloves on as if he was cleaning a house. So I really want to take those gloves off him. I do like the slippers, however. I am, I am a fan of the slippers. All right, so for his hair, I'm gonna do, I kind of want to do something crazy like this. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Whoa, Christina, calm down. But I really like this hair. I think it's actually really cute. And I'm going to sculpt his face a little bit to make him kind of look a little bit more like a, I don't know, like my dream man. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but a little bit more, um, I don't know how to put, put, the, the, put my idea of what I'm trying to create here out there, but, um, why is this nose doing this? Hold on, let me go ahead and click on a new nose and sculpt it. We're just sculpting faces together today. All right. Um, kind of like this. All right. And. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm going to have him, you know who I think has the prettiest male lips ever? <laughs> and he's, in my opinion, one of the prettiest males. Sebastian, not Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian Kid, yes, from Carrie Diaries. But uh, let's be real, let's be real. Why can't I think of his name right now? I talk about him all the time. Vanessa Hudgens' boyfriend, Sebastian Kid. You know who I'm talking about. Be beautiful. Beautiful. And I know his name. It's just not coming to my head right now. But, um, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay, guys? Just gorgeous. And I'm also going to change his eye color to this... Actually, I think brown eyes would, or black eyes would be kind of nice. Maybe some contacts. I think some contacts. That would be kind of nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to do these contacts right here, as well as go in with maybe some contour or something. <laughs> He's going to be really pretty. No, but uh, we're going to go ahead and give him some elf ears as well. <laughs> um, let's see. We'll just go into clothing. And I'm going to do probably something like this. These t-shirts are awesome. I'm gonna do this t-shirt right here and some jeans. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna go back in. This pineapple tea is, this pineapple tea is really awesome. <laughs> but I think I will do maybe a sweater like this. Ooh, I love this sweater. This is, oh! <gasps> This one is so ironic. We're doing this one. I want to leave because it's so ironic and he makes jokes. He's like a little jokester. So it would make sense. So we're going to do this one. I want to leave. And it's like a UFO. Oh my gosh. He's got jokes. But yeah, we'll do that with some capris. Well, his brother's wearing capris. I don't want him to wear them too. I just think they look really nice. Um... I'm thinking I'm gonna do these. 
like that. And then for his shoes, some Converse. Because you can never go wrong with Converse. I'll make his feet just a tad bit smaller. And then I will also give him a dog tag, maybe. Oh. Mm. Eh. Meh. Meh. And I'm going to make him kind of muscular, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Make his neck not so huge. <laughs> Can you see how big his neck was? It was quite big. Just kind of shape his jaw a little bit. You know, shape a face. And I think I also want to give him a tattoo because I have not really, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The illest tattoo I have seen. Oh, he's getting that. That is awesome. I am in love with that. Wow. <gasps> Everything the cooler ones over here. Oh my gosh. This is not okay. I really want him to have a tattoo. Which one? Oh, which one, Christina? You gotta pick one. I'm gonna go with this one because it's so awesome. <sighs> okay, okay. Just one, just one, that one. It is so cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks so cool with his sweater. Oh, it looks so awesome. Okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> Let me just really quickly, I have to change this because it's kind of <laughs> killing me. Okay guys, so that is the twins makeover. I really like them. I think they look really good. And I'm really excited to play with them as teenagers because I feel like I haven't played with teenagers in so long. And now with that school mod, I think we're going to have a lot of fun because I do want to pursue relationships with them. I think it'd be kind of fun. It's kind of the time where you get involved in relationships. So I don't know. I kind of want him to be, I want him to have a girlfriend. I don't know. I kind of miss that scene. Anyways, he's going to go crawl into his little childhood bed that's so little. Have fun, buddy. Sleep good, galaxy. But um, I've actually been doing some thinking. And I feel like Jade and Bellatrix and Brody have not been getting a lot of love. They just haven't because, you know, Levi's over here popping children out. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to him. But I really want to pay attention to these three. And I know a lot of you guys have been like, oh, go to Jade's Secret. It's been so long. And we have about 1,776 millions currently. And she's in a pretty good mood. So we're just going to go ahead and travel really quickly over to Jade's Secret and spend, I guess, the money that we have on Jade Secret. It's been a while. I really do love retail. For those who do not know, Open for Business was one of my favorite expansion packs of all time. If you guys would like a video, me maybe naming my top five expansion pack favorites, I could do something like that. I could. I've been thinking about it. I'm like, I've been planning it in my head, but then it's like, hey, I might as well ask, right? <laughs> oh, we're negative 20. Wow, that's awkward. Okay, so, um, but yeah, I love, 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 um, open for business. And this is, you know, kind of like open for business. So I personally would love to get more into the retail and get more into Jade's story instead of Levi's because we've kind of been up his butt crack and he needs to go away. Like, he, no, he doesn't need to go away, but he needs to stop popping children out. It's getting a little crazy, dude. You're just popping them out. Popping them up, but he's popping them out left and right. Nobody has time to have any attention because of him. But um, what I'm going to do is build on a little section of the store. It's my time we do this. I know it's not exactly the prettiest, <laughs> um, but one day... It will be gorgeous, and we can brag, and it will be awesome. All the other people around here will be like, excuse moi, who is this, what, what is this new, this new boutique doing? 
So for now, we're dealing with ugly. <laughs> for now, yes, we are dealing with extremely ugly. But we will get there, guys. So I'm thinking you walk in and over here will be like the counter. And I'll put this up on the wall, I guess. No, no. I really do love this like little thing right here. I'm thinking a kind of grunge urban outfitters sort of store mixed with Victoria's Secret would be kind of cool because this is going to be a Victoria's Secret-esque sort of store but then I think half of the store could be a boutique and the other store could be like pure lingerie. I don't know. Thinking. Thinking. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do that and I think I can afford one more mannequin. Yes. Yes, 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 I can. Okay. Oh, I only had one or did I sell the other one? Oh, it's right here, okay. Let me just place this right there for now. Put that there. We don't really have too, too much simoleons to work with here, but uh, yeah, I actually need a door. That will do. That is my door for now. Okay, but we're definitely gonna spend some more time here. In fact, uh, I, I will do these off camera. I will give them some cute little outfits um, and possibly decorate a bit more. Why do I have 776 simoleons now? Oh, that's why it's my household funds. Uh, I will do more of this off camera. If you have any suggestions, do let me know. I'm going to completely remodernize this. This is quite, you know, I mean, you could say this is pretty much better than castles and better than space and better than your mama. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's pretty much, you know. Um, it's like a shack. So I want to make this store a little bit more modern. The stores around here are kind of like, I mean, they're gorgeous. Do not get me wrong. But I want to go for like more of a modern theme instead of like a colonial sort of theme. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going here. So this is going to be more of a modern boutique, which I'm really excited to do. Um... So I guess our work is done here. There's not much to be done because we're broke. So let's head home. <laughs> let's just go ahead. Actually, wait, while we are here, is there potatoes? I know what you guys are thinking. What do you need a potato for, huh? Well, uh, with the new recipes Levi unlocked, there's actually a potato pie and I am all over that. I just need to know where I should, where I can get potatoes. So I'm actually really quickly going to Google this and I will be All right, right back. so I found it. I researched it and apparently there is a potato harvestable at the Crick Cabana. So we're going to head here and search for potatoes like, you know, normal people do at what time is it? Like 2 a.m. in the game? Midnight? Yeah, like midnight in the game. We're just going to go searching for potatoes. Um, Let's see. Oh, potato. Where are thou? Potato. Where are thou? Let me see. Zoom out a little bit. Ah, ah, ah! Oh my gosh. Where's the potatoes at? Normal potato. <gasps> no. Potatoes grow as networked clusters. They're not ready okay, guys, so I am going to actually end this part here. I know this part, we didn't, like, go to work with anybody or anything, but the boys did age up, and in the next part, we're going to go to work with them and maybe go to, boy th 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 go to school with the boys and also age up Neptune. So, yeah, guys, I will see you all next time. I love you so much. Bye.